Good morning. I'm Councilman Curran Price, and I just want to welcome you uh, to our ribbon cutting today for our Central Avenue Angels Walk. We are just so excited to have uh, community members, family, friends, neighbors uh, here to celebrate. Uh, and as we commemorate uh, an important uh, area of not just the city's history, but African-American history, African-American history uh, in the city of Los Angeles. Uh, so much of it uh, on Central Avenue. And so we're just really excited to, to be here uh, today. You know, it's been some time since we started planning this project. And so uh, to uh, be at this point now is uh, just a real, real celebration. Now, some of you may say, well, gee whiz, what is uh, Angels Walk Central Avenue? Well, you know, it's in short, it's going to be a walking uh, trail uh, on Central Avenue, roughly from uh, Adams to, to Vernon. Uh, it's going to tell the story of L.A. by taking you back in time, taking you back in time uh, and to commemorate uh, locations, individuals, uh, e events, uh, and the legacies of people that have played just such an important role uh, in, in our community and in the history that, uh, that we enjoy. Central Avenue is certainly a multicultural, multi-ethnic, vibrant uh, community in South LA. And I'm honored uh, to represent the area uh, in the 9th Council District. Uh, it's real exciting to partner with um, Angels Walk LA uh, to highlight some of these uh, historic uh, sites and in, in cultural and historic roots in, in, our, in our community. You know, similar to the jazz district in New York, uh, famed uh, contemporary jazz musician Winston Marcellus uh, said that uh, Central Avenue was like 52nd Street uh, in L.A. Um, but certainly for many decades, Central Avenue has been the heart and soul of the black community uh, in Los Angeles. The corridor was home to a wide variety, a wide variety of black-owned uh, businesses, uh, including shops and stores and restaurants, financial institutions, entertainment venues, you name it. You could find it on Central Avenue. It was a neighborhood that uh, largely developed out of the trials and tribulations that came from the housing restrictions uh, that were, and the other injustices that were a part of L.A. at that time, you know. Uh, there was a point when African Americans couldn't uh, uh, go west of Central Avenue, couldn't find a place to live, uh, and so it was a real uh, uh, barrier. Central Avenue also was once widely known as the epicenter, the epicenter of West Coast jazz, uh, and we celebrate that, uh, of course, every summer uh, with the Central Avenue Jazz Festival. It's an event that attracts folks from all over the city, all over the country, and again, uh, we are proud to uh, to have that here in our community. But through the self-guided walking tour, you're going to come across uh, several nationally registered historic landmarks, uh, like the Dunbar Hotel, uh, a little further down the street, uh, that served as a gathering place uh, for uh, African-American uh, musicians and community leaders in the 20s and the 30s and in the 40s. Uh, another prominent landmark you're going to pass is the uh, Lincoln Theater, uh, which opened in 1927 to, again, accommodate the African-American uh, community. It was, it was nicknamed the, uh, the West Coast uh, Apollo uh, back in the day. But again, featured performances by legendary entertainers, legendary le entertainers, Billie Holiday, Nat King Cole, Duke Ellington, Sammy Davis Jr., just to name a few. That uh, is the Lincoln Theater. And today I'm excited to share with you uh, the, the news that the Lincoln Theater has a new owner. My office was successful in identifying 100% of the financing which made it possible for the Coalition for Responsible Community Development to purchase the theater. And I'm looking forward to seeing the treasured landmark uh, as a performance venue uh, coming back into its uh, original grandeur. Yeah, let's give it up. The CRCD. You're going to also learn the history of the 28th Street Y. 28th Street Y, where we are today. Again, one, one of three landmark um, uh, properties designed by Paul R. Williams. 
You know, the YMCA provided a safe space for people of color, especially our younger people, to access a uh, public swimming pool, a gymnasium, and dozens of, of, of dormitory rooms. Even today, this once recreational center continues to, to serve its mission to assist thousands of youth in our South LA community uh, because it is a youth source center, again, operated by the Coalition for Responsible Community Development and the city of LA. There are a total of 15 different stanchions uh, in addition to the 61 other sites, such as the Central Avenue Jazz Park uh, and the eateries like the 27th Street Bakery uh, along this one and a, and a half mile stretch. And to enhance your Angels Walk experience, you can stop by our District 9 Constituent Service Center on 30, 43rd and Central uh, and pick up a, a booklet that shows you a guide booklet of the area so that you don't miss a beat. Let me, let me, uh, thank you. The guidebook. <laughs> You know, this community has changed uh, significantly over the years. Uh, and so there, very few of our, of our neighbors and our residents uh, remember that uh, Central Avenue heyday. So I felt even, um, it was even more imperative that we uh, document and identify these, uh, the historical significance of Central Avenue. Again, so that it uh, can be enjoyed and appreciated for generations uh, to come. It's my hope that this walking tour is going to serve as a creative learning tool, a creative learning tool to help individuals uh, understand and appreciate uh, our history and our legacy. Every stop along the way has its own unique story. Unfortunately, we can't share them all today. Uh, but, I want, but I wanted to come to the YMCA because it's special. Uh, not just because of the building and, and not just of the, because of the historical uh, past, but because of the bright future. And talking about that bright future, I'd like to ask Mark Wilson, President and CEO of the Coalition for Responsible Community Development, to share with you how the legacy here at the Y is going to continue. Thank you very much, Councilman. Um, I, I promise to uh, keep it brief because I can get excited talking about um, this very special project. I just want to thank the Councilman um, for his vision and support um, in ensuring that the history and legacy of Af African American contributions, not only to South LA, but throughout the city, uh, continues to be remembered um, through this very special project. I'm so excited that we're doing the unveiling um, with Paul Williams Staten in front of, in front of one of many um, historic um, beauties that he created and helped design um, throughout the city of, of Los Angeles, the historic 28th Street YMCA. For those that don't know, that this historic uh, building was built in 1928. It was the first YMCA west of the Mississippi that allowed boarding and membership for African Americans. And today, um, for years since 1928, it served as a beacon of the neighborhood to provide resources to young people um, in this community. Many of them are here now who grew up uh, utilizing the services of this YMCA. And I'm proud today that CRCD, our Coalition for Responsible Community Development, continues that legacy, providing much needed employment and employment placement services, uh, leadership development, and educational services in partnership with Los Angeles Trade Tech Community College. What has been built here uh, through the vision of the councilman is partnership, is collaboration, is how we continue to make the future bright for South LA. I always want to recognize the young people represent South LA Youth Bill um, that also access resources and services here. Um, that's what CRCD is about. 
and I'm proud to stand here in front of you and thank you again, um, Councilman. I do want to give a shout out um, to some of the other historical Stantons that will be going up. I see Mr. Michael Dolphin here, who's representing his family's legacy with Dolphins of Hollywood, a very famous uh, record store that was in the area. Um, just want to let you know how important the history is, and I'm just appreciative of the Councilman and the City for allowing CRCD to actually acquire three of the historic landmarks here in Vernon Central, and we plan to do more. So thank you. Thank you, Mark, a real uh, leader in our community. Uh, his organization is just doing some tremendous things, uh, not just in preserving uh, historical uh, venues, uh, but also providing jobs, providing training, providing hope, providing a path. Uh, and so that's the kind of uh, creative leadership, uh, Mark, that we appreciate from, from you and your organization uh, and the individuals uh, that, you, that you represent. Uh, big or small, there are many who made uh, contributions to the success of the Central uh, Avenue Angels Walk, uh, but we wouldn't be here today without the special efforts of several. And we just want to acknowledge again uh, Angels Walk LA, uh, LA Metro, and Streets LA. Let's give them a hand. Let's give them a hand. Again, my heartfelt thank you for your contributions. Again, commitment to the community uh, and a commitment to preserving our history. Now, we're gonna hear from uh, our partners who are with us today. And uh, uh, again, this has just been an exciting collaboration and a, a indication of what's hap what, what you can do with limited resources when you're leverage the, leveraging them uh, and working in a, in a collaborative way. Uh, but Angels Walk LA has been a tremendous partner uh, to work with, no matter uh, the twist or the turn. They were with us 100% uh, on this project all the way. Uh, they carried out their roles as project manager with great care uh, and tremendous detail. And so again, they, they were responsible for the concept, for the resource, research, the sourcing of photos, the writing, the design, production, and so much more. Again, we're fortunate to have some of the uh, Angels Walk LA team with us. So I want to just take a minute to recognize them. Please uh, just, you can stand or shake your hand. Uh, Deanna Malloy, the founder and president of the board. Uh, Brian Lane, the co-director. John Malloy. Uh, and Kenneth Huff. Uh, that's right, give them all a hand. They, they worked hard and they worked uh, diligently. Uh, and last but not least, though, on the team, let me uh, ask uh, Tracy Lane, uh, one of the co-directors of Angels Walk LA, to uh, join us for a few words. Tracy? Good morning. Uh, we're very honored and excited to be here today to celebrate the completion of Angels Walk Central Avenue. For those of you intimately involved with the project, you know what a truly momentous day this is. Uh, in 2008, Council Member Jan Perry invited Angels Walk to begin the process of developing a walk along one of the main streets in her district, famed South Central Avenue. By this time, we had already completed six self-guided trails in the downtown area, and it was now time to turn the focus to South LA and shine a light on this important neighborhood. A neighborhood which was so significant to the African-American experience in Los Angeles. The area had so many stories that needed to be told. Sadly, stories not that well known by most Angelinos. Stories of African-American bankers, Lawyers, librarians, dentists, doctors, teachers, artists, activists, diplomats, pastors, musicians, journalists, politicians, architects, and entrepreneurs of every kind. The stories needed to be told of those who, despite racial injustice, built an incredibly strong and dynamic community, 
one that flourished economically, socially, and culturally. Angels Walk LA's core mission is to tell the LA story, the story of people, places, events, and movements that have shaped this one-of-a-kind city. Learning about how our neighborhoods came to be helps us understand the uniqueness that each part brings to the larger whole. Angels Walk LA is a program for the people, and our aim is to shed light on the past, to help foster a deeper appreciation for the places that we live and work. In celebrating what has come before, we hope to cultivate an understanding of the experiences that unite us as Angelinos. And with this understanding, we become more connected, informed, and engaged members of our community. <laughs> Over the last two decades, we have partnered with Metro and Streets LA to complete 13 self-guided historical walks in different LA neighborhoods. And each one owes its existence to a team of passionate and dedicated people. First and foremost, we'd like to thank Councilmember Price for reviving this project and providing his commitment and steadfast vision to the walk and for entrusting the stories of Central Avenue to us. Without him, this project simply would not be. We'd also like to thank Andrea Green from CD9 for her invaluable support and shepherding of the endless details involved in getting this project done. Uh, the walk would have little substance if it wasn't for our brilliant historian and writer, Dr. Allison Rose Jefferson, and contributing writer and researcher, Martha Groves. We'd also like to thank Clint Bowers, Cherie Franklin, Pastor Epps, Valerie McDonald, the Dolphin family, and the late Gregory Everett, whose connection to this community enhances the richness of the project. In closing, we'd like to recognize the founder of Angels Walk LA, Deanna Malloy, who 25 years ago had a vision for creating a more walkable city, a city where everyone would be able to learn about its history and architectural treasures. Angels Walk Central Avenue commemorates so many important stories from its past, and our hope is that it, and it inspires and educates residents and visitors alike for many, many years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tracy. You know, um, she mentioned there are uh, 13 other yeah. walks For around? Including this including one. Including this 13 one. Total. 13 total. So this is uh, uh, an exciting uh, uh, landmark and a uh, uh, just an important uh, expression of support. So again, we really appreciate Angels Walk Central Avenue. It has a little ring to it, doesn't it? Angels Walk Central Avenue. Um, the single most important factor getting any project done, of course, uh, here or any place else, is making sure you got the financing. Because without the financing, the project just doesn't seem to move at all. Um, as a result of the overwhelming support from LA Metro, uh, through their 80% financial support of this project, Central Avenue Angels Walk became a reality. And so again, we just appreciate that collaboration. We have a couple of representatives from LA Metro here, but let me just recognize Brandy uh, Turbo, uh, who as project manager helped keep this project going. I know it wasn't always easy, again, so thank you, uh, Brandy. Uh, and uh, here to speak on behalf of the uh, LA Metro is the Deputy Executive Officer, Frank Ching. Frank? Thank you and good morning. Um, humble to be here. Um, Metro is, is proud to be partner with the city of Los Angeles by providing funding resource on the, to support the Central Avenue Walk LA project. Uh, this project actually was funded by our 2011 Call for Projects uh, Competition Grant Program. Um, Metro, uh, our Call for Project Grant Program is committed to funding projects like this to improve mobility and Angelinos and promoting active engagement with our surrounding communities. These projects highlight transportation linkage and spotlighting um, walking and important, um, an important mobility mode, what we call active transportation. 
Active transportation is walking. Walking is active transportation. <laughs> Projects like this one um, also offer the opportunity to demonstrate the culture and significance of these corridors. The project celebrates the reach of South Los Angeles through a guide walking book, not only from the hard copy, but, but also digitally too. So be, because um, nowadays, who doesn't use their, their, their phone as their personal computer and use digitally that guide ourselves to do whatever we need to do, including active transportation. Um, at um, the County Transportation Authority, it is not only Metro's priority commitment, but it's also our uh, is also our mission to support improving our communities. Certainly, year 2020 was not an easy year, but completion of projects like this symbolizing our recovery and bouncing back of Angelinos. It also celebrates the diverse culture of Los Angeles County uh, region and encourage walking as an enjoyable active transportation as a mobility option. Um, on behalf of Metro, I want to I would like to especially thank Council Member Price and his staff, City of Los, City of Los Angeles departments, and everyone here today. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's uh, angelswalkla.org. Angelswalkla.org. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Frank. Uh, again, we appreciate uh, Metro stepping up uh, as it uh, as it did on this, and it's, it's doing all over our community. In fact, uh, you know, a lot, in a lot of ways, uh, LA Metro is a new redevelopment agency. Uh, they are providing just an extraordinary amount of, 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 of options that we, uh, that we all need. Um, our next partner is none other than Streets LA. You've been hearing about all morning, uh, at least from this podium. We are, again, just appreciative of the, of the relationship, of the uh, commitment. Okay. Um, Again, I seldom do I have a chance to, to thank the city family for its, uh, its commitment and, and involvement. Um, so when I uh, call your name, just uh, uh, throw your hands up. Uh, Angels Walk from Angels Walk uh, uh, LA. Uh, I'm sorry, Angel Streets LA. Yes. Um, Oh, I see what happened. <laughs> Call this technical difficulties. Okay. Great. Uh, Selma will have an opportunity to thank the city family for its, uh, its work and its commitment. Uh, again, we just appreciate the involvement. Let me uh, thank Streets LA for their particular uh, attention to detail and support. Jaime Munoz, uh, the civil engineer on the project. And Suni Rappel, uh, the design build manager on the project, did a tremendous job. Uh, but at this time, I want to uh, bring up Al uh, Bazizi, the engineering services managing uh, division manager representing Streets LA, who really made this project happen. Al. Good morning, everyone. I'm Al Bazi. I'm here today along with the team from Streets LA on behalf of our general manager, Adele Hashkalil, who was not able to join us today. Every day we come to work with uh, really one thing in mind. How do we improve the quality of life for our constituents? And this is what this project is all about. Uh, at Streets LA, we are so used to projects building sidewalks, curb and gutter, improving the streets. That's why this project is so unique. It, it complements all that. It's a service. It provides information to our constituents who live here, to our visitors, to um, 
to learn what this community has to offer, what the businesses offer, what it's all about. I'm so proud of the Streets LA team for the work that they do. I uh, would like to acknowledge our AGM who join us today, Mr. Keith Mose, Jaime Munoz, Sunil Rajpal, Mike Allman from our construction division, Jerry Carapino, who along with the partnership with uh, Walk LA that have been, uh, been able to deliver this project. We delivered it through a design build method. It was designed and constructed all in house by city staff. Uh, under the leadership of Councilman Price and his staff, we were able to provide uh, 15 footings, pads, stanchions, uh, prepare and uh, print 50,000 uh, guides. Uh, that's going to give an opportunity to all the visitors and the constituents to learn about the heritage of this community, the, the experience, the culture, give them an opportunity to do that. Uh, we are very honored to be part of this project, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to be here. Thank you for coming out. Thank you, Alan. Again, just appreciate your, uh, your leadership and your uh, guidance and assistance all through this uh, project. Um, I, you know, I have a special presentation uh, to the uh, Angels Walk LA team. And uh, uh, we got a special plaque. I, I'd love for uh, Tracy and Brian uh, to join us, and also Martha, who did the, you all did the principal sweat work on this. And I, uh, again, just want to give special recognition, special recognition uh, to the primary writers, researchers, designers. Uh, you know, you, they made sure that uh, all the the documentation was accurate uh, and uh, and true, um, and uh, they just did an extraordinary job. Unfortunately, uh, Dr. Uh, Allison R. Jefferson could not be with us, uh, but she was a, a, a real partner in this well. And the plaque reads, uh, in recognition and appreciation of your outstanding contributions to the community and preservation of Los Angeles history. Thank you so Thank much. Angels so Walk, much. Central Avenue. Let's give them a hand. Thank you. And again, another special thanks to uh, Andrea Green from my office who, who uh, did the extraordinary job of coordination. Uh, Andrea, thank you for your efforts as well. Uh, in closing, I just want to thank you all for coming out today. This is a historic day and time in CD9. Uh, but join me, uh, please, as we uh, cut the ribbon uh, at our stanchion. Okay, ready? Ready. Three, two, one. Woo! Hey! 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 Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. English and Spanish. <laughs>